Hello, it's uh, Bini here. Today I received an email from Blueberry from this um, uh, New York City VPS. Uh, they are giving me a new VPS and I want to use this opportunity to talk about how to set up your VPS. Um, you know, uh, if you are using a VPS. Right, before that, if you are having a Blueberry account and you are also Terrace students, that means you come from our recommendation, then you, Blueberry, will give you a free six months VPN sponsor. So this is only when you are uh, coming from us. Okay, so I put in a link in the uh, uh, in the description below for you to get that uh, special identification that you are actually coming from us to get this free six month VPS. Right, uh, so I'm just going to talk about how to set up this VPS using my Mac uh, computer. I'm not using a Windows. Windows will be a lot more easier but I'm using uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop uh, uh, for the Mac version. So I'm just going to show you step by step on how to do that, but uh, it should be quite similar. All right, so let's get started with the email that we receive. Usually I will just keep that a, a copy of this email, all right? Back up the copy of this email because there are things that I will need it. First is this client area login. So what is this, right? It means that let's say in the future, you're going to have a problem with your VPS. You need to restart that. You need to you know go into this client area to hard restart the VPS or to check what is happening, whether the VPS is having any downtime. So you need to log in. So this is the login address and as well as your username and password. I've just blanked out the password. So that's my username and this password here. Right now, what is important is this uh, VPN's log information. Right, you need to keep a copy. All right, then you're gonna have this uh, host, which is unique to every VPS. Your username as administrator and your password. So if you are using Windows, you can just click on this uh, quick shortcut uh, file to just start that VPS. All right. Uh, if not, then you can just uh, browse the video on how to connect using the Apple computer. I just want to take note that what is a VPS? VPS is like a virtual server. It's like a virtual computer that's sitting elsewhere. And uh, you are using your computer, that means you're using your desktop or your uh, laptop or Mac all right, to access this virtual computer that's sitting elsewhere. So uh, VPNs, why do you need that? Because it's always on. It's always switched on 24 hours and 7 days. Um, and But you don't want your computer to be switched on, right? So you are only using your own home base uh, desktop or laptop to access that VPS that's in the cloud. Uh, this means that you don't need to switch on your own computer 24 hours and 7 days. All right? So this is the use of the VPS and it's very very commonly used to host uh, EAs. Right? So we use it to host our loan so that when there is a trade then it can automatically trade for us and you know when we need to uh, add in new positions or shift our stop loss it can be done because then that meta trader uh, platform will be always on because the, the VPS is always switched on all right, around the clock. Alright, so let's talk about how you want to connect to the VPS. Alright, I'm using the connection via Microsoft Remote Desktop which is in Mac and I just have to click on this plus sign to add a PC. So I add a PC and I just uh, give the PC a name, right? So I just want to uh, copy in the host address all right, to say you know, this is that. And uh, I want to add a new uh, user account because I don't want to always key in whenever, all right, that I have to log in. So I add a new user account, all right? So this one, this under add user account, you have to key in your administrator, I mean, username, which is this administrator, all right? And then uh, you want to have your password as well. You want to paste your password. Okay, you want this as a friendly name so that next time you, you can remember it. So I just you know identify that as a New York uh, City server. So this becomes that friendly name next time you want to log in with this address or uh, password. Then this is something that you immediately call out. Okay, just add it in. All right. Um, and I also need to identify these you know as a uh, friendly name so I know that I am. Uh, accessing this VPS okay? because then VPS is known using via that, that uh, series of numbers but you don't know what they are right so I'm just gonna make it uniform and say that this is a you know city server right and under display uh, I want I don't want to start the session with uh, in full screen I want to actually uh, fit the session to window 
okay and uh, the device and audio and then folders let's just leave it as default okay when I'm done with that I just click add so you see that you know this particular VPS has been added I know exactly what it is and then I just have to click that and you know you ask me whether you want to connect to the host you just say yes continue and I'm being connected to the host right now so this is my VPS okay so I'm just gonna shrink the window a little bit show it to you um, what I have here so I already earlier logged into my VPS already um, so I'm just going to uh, minimize this okay and minimize this one All right so when you go to the VPS you find that you have two um, Blueberry accounts MT4 that's being installed here already. All right, and then you have this particular shortcut which is Liberty by uh, NYC server. Okay, what I like to do is I like to activate a few things. Okay, number one, I want to activate the auto login, so which I've already activated that. Okay, by keying in my uh, username and then the password and to enable the auto login. Now, second thing, I want to actually auto start whenever there is a. Uh, you know, uh, malfunction in the VPS, I want that uh, MT4 to auto start, right? Whenever the VPS auto switch off and then switch on again, right? So how do you do that? Okay, so first I'm just going to demonstrate for you. I'm just going to remove this one here first, all right? So, okay, now assuming it's clean, I just want to do that. Add new, all right? Then I will locate the place where, you know, it is installed with that Meta Trader. So I have two MT4, one MT4 and one MT5 platform here, right? I want it every time to restart my MT5 platform. I will go to, let's say, the place that you're going to find your program files, okay? So you can just go to program files and you can find, hey, look, I'm here I have the Blueberry MT5. Okay, so Blueberry MT5, click on that and then you go to the, the, the startup file, which is this Terminal 64. Okay, and then click on that and then click open. So you're gonna have the first path, path which is Meta Trader 5. Now next is to add new again because I want to add the uh, MT4, right? So I go inside the program file. I can't find any MT4 here. Anyway, once I start that, it will just auto restart. So let me just minimize this one. So I can't find my MT4 here, right? So perhaps it is in another program file, which is the X86, right? So here I have the Blueberry MT4. Click on that, click on the terminal, and then click open. Now once you have these two, that's it. Now if you have three platforms and you want to restart three platforms, what you have to do is you just have to key in three um, path here, all right? So once you're done, you just minimize that. Now, if you want to have any alerts uh, regarding, um, you know, system reboot, etc., you can just key in your email here. All right, so I'm just gonna key in my email to receive any information of a uh, system reboot. All right, so and then I just have to save changes, and that's it. And then I have to just close it. All right, so once done, you will realize that I have this uh, Meta Trader platform here. All right, so these would be. MT4. Okay, so let me just start that. MT4. Alright, so that's the MT4 that I have. Okay, and I can load in uh, Alum or any of the EAs that I have. Alright, um, and remember, you want that that you know EA to keep on running, you have to keep the MT4 platform on. Alright, same thing as a reminder, if you'd like to have this free 6-month VPS, um, that's like worth about 210 USD. You can use our link and then go to Blueberry and say, hey, look, you know, I'm coming from Terrasis. I'd like to have a, an account. Um, I want to make a minimum funding and I'd like to have this free six month VPS. It's definitely worth it, right? If you're hosting uh, any of your automations, uh, whether it's uh, EAs or whether it's any of the alerts, and it's free six months and the setup is actually very easy. All right, so if you like this video, please. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel whenever I have new videos, I will just uh, let you know.